paramedic Dina has been attacked verbally, sexually and physically, all while doing her job. But last year she was lucky to survive when she went with emergency service colleagues to check on a patient. The first knife went into my chest on my right side and the second knife, which was the much larger knife, went into my upper left chest. Um, I stumbled backwards and then my colleague, Mick, jumped in front of me and he pushed me out of the way to, to protect me, to stand in front of me and he got stabbed in the back. Dina and Mick are back on duty, but many can't return. In 2019, PC Andrew Harper was killed trying to stop a quad bike being stolen. There's a body in the road, body in the road. It's fell out of the vehicle. Can't be with the body. The teenagers responsible were sentenced to between 16 and 13 years in prison. Now, Andrew's widow, Lissy, has the backing of the Prime Minister for Harper's Law. Mandatory life sentences for those who kill emergency service workers while on duty. I think it sends a message to those who um, lead those sorts of lives, um, who commit crimes, who have no um, remorse for, for taking innocent people's lives away, and it will tell them that we won't stand for this. In the West Midlands alone, one ambulance worker is physically assaulted every single day. And whilst most people respect the essential job they do, this new law could mean that their cases are treated differently to everybody else's. The law change may restrict the role of judges, according to some barristers. Sentencing by public opinion or by Parliament preventing judges imposing certain sentences in certain circumstances is, to my mind, a rather slippery slope for us to be going down. For those on the front line, this is what it's come to. Ambulance workers trialling stab-proof vests. They welcome anything that could give them greater protection. Lisa Dowd, Sky News, Wolverhampton.